hello everyone in this video we're going to focus on the game creator hub and we'll highlight a couple of really useful actions conditions and triggers before we get started i'd like to thank all of my patreon supporters for the amazing support so this week's video is a bit later usually i tend to do these uh, maximum on friday today is a saturday obviously my girlfriend's not all that excited about it um, but i still wanted to do this video so before we get started, I want to highlight a bit what the Game Creator Hub is. So the Game Creator Hub is a location where anyone in the community can upload uh, new actions, conditions, and triggers. And honestly, there's you know a lot of good stuff in here. The reason I'm highlighting this is because people often forget that this exists. And it's such a shame because there's so many great tools being added here. So, you know, it, this is definitely something I do want to highlight. Obviously, I'm not going to highlight everything in there. There's so much good stuff. But, you know, I'm going to focus on a couple just to give you an impression of what we can expect here. Now, before we get started with the project, I want to highlight a couple of more elaborate systems that are uploaded to the hub as well. Now, do all of this at your own risk. I do want to highlight that. So definitely try it out first in a new empty project. Make sure it all works before you mess up an existing project. So, you know, be warned, but it is worth it. So first off, we have Character Melee Advanced. And this basically allows you to have access to melee clips without having to use the weapon itself. Now you might wonder what's the use of this and think of it this way. Melee clips actually allow you to use root motion, um, you know, in game creator. And this is an easy way to basically unlock all of these special attacks without having to use a melee weapon. So really cool addition honestly really amazing that this has been added next up we have yuma integration and i know yuma is an incredibly popular um, asset. you know it's used for a lot of um, models you'll find in many indie games and you know this is definitely something that is worth looking into if this is a direction you want to go honestly it's really great that this has been added it's um, you know being supported a lot as well so definitely have a look at it next up we have the multi scene template and this is basically a pre set up main menu for your game with tons of settings already uh, you know created and it uses its own custom load save system which basically means you don't have to set up loads of global variables in order to achieve this really worth having a look at and last but not least, we have the Melee Upgrade. And um, the name itself might not give you a big indication, but this is actually one of the better additions. Now keep in mind, this will alter your existing Melee module, but it basically allows you to have multiple weapon prefabs configured, meaning if you want to have you know, a really cool uh, martial arts system where in your animation clips you're using both your fists and your feet this is the way to do it and it's really impressive i'll definitely recommend having a look at this if that's something you'd like to do um, especially for people setting up fighters etc really impressive addition definitely check this out so the previous ones i highlighted all require you to follow a set of instructions now, if you're simply going to have a look at this for um, additional actions, conditions, and triggers, it's actually a lot easier. So all you really have to do is press on download with whatever you're going to use. And then once the package is available, you simply open it up and it will import it into your um, Unity environment. Press import. And that's it. Now we're going to go to conditions and um, when you go to custom, a lot of them will be saved in the custom folder. You will see this new action and this is one I really like as well. So character is wielding a weapon and this basically allows you to select a player, invoker, character or you know use a, uh, use a variable and decide which weapon they will use. So let's say the default sword weapon and you can basically set conditions based on the weapon that is being used rather than the default 
um, melee is character armed. Because, you know, is armed basically means any type of weapon as a condition. And with this one, we're able to speci specify which weapon they're actually using. So really useful, a really great addition. So that was character is wielding melee weapon as a new condition. So that let's have a look at a couple of the other ones. So we have character is moving as well. And the reason this is interesting is because by default, when we go to, um, you know, character property, we have walking, running, um, you know, idle, etc. But if you'd like a more general, you know, is a character moving, then we have this great custom action, um, character is moving. And this condition, sorry. And basically this allows us to check if a uh, character is moving in general, yes or no. Again, this could be really useful for a lot of conditions. And, you know, you won't have to set up double conditions if you um, want something similar, but then have to do walking and running combined. So again, really useful custom condition. Next up, we have on select UI and on deselect UI. And these are really simple triggers that allow you to trigger a set of actions or conditions based on simply selecting a UI element or deselecting a UI element. And this is something that, you know, if you're going to set up a menu, could be extremely useful. So definitely worth checking out. You know, it's a simple download and you have them. And, you know, when it comes to actions, triggers and conditions, you know, the more the merrier and, you know, they're all free. So why not? The next one we're looking at is Orbit Camera. And this is a slightly more elaborate um, addition to the hub, but it's incredibly easy to set up. So if we go to um, other and we select camera motor, we practically always use the adventure camera and you know there's tons of things we can set up in the adventure camera but the orbit camera allows you to customize a couple more things and as you can see let me let me switch back and it will practically highlight straight away what we're adding so we're having some limits to our pitch so what does this mean so, you know, if I'm going to go with the default adventure camera, I'm not changing anything here. I can basically rotate, you know, um, every single way and it just works. And if I select the orbit camera and I have some pitch limits and, you know, I can customize this what to whatever I want. And I go back into play mode. We can basically set the initial pitch, which is already really cool. And it allows us to limit how much we can actually rotate. Mm -hmm. And basically, you know, you're constraining um, how much can be done. And this is actually done in a lot of games. So it's actually really useful to have. And again, this is a simple click, download, add, and um, you know we're good so again really really cool um, really nice new addition and you know when it comes to camera motor options you know again more is definitely better so yeah I definitely recommend having a look at this one and last but not least we have smooth sprint and what this does is it basically smooths the transition between your different sprint speeds so by default our run speed is set at 4 and I set up a simple trigger that if we hold left shift, um, we're going to basically uh, wait three seconds and then our uh, speed will increase. Now, as you can see, um, we're getting basically, we're getting a boost. Um, so the character just janks forward a bit um, simply because, well, you know, we're increasing our speed all of a sudden. And the higher the sprint speed, the farther away the character is going to be removed from its center so you know that's why going from four to eight all of a sudden will basically jank the character forward and it doesn't look all that great so smooth sprint speed is a um, you know again a really simple addition and um, let's go to smooth sprint 
Um, I like the fact that it has a little icon as well. And basically we're doing the exact same thing, but we're going to have a duration period, so a transition period. And if I highlight the player now and we see um, sprint speed, we're going to do the exact same thing. So, you know, it'll take three seconds before it actually activates. And then slowly but steadily, our sprint speed is going to be increasing and we're going to be running faster at a sprint speed of eight. And I know it doesn't seem that fast because I have no objects in the game world, but eight is actually really fast, uh, uh, a fast sprint speed. And this is really cool because as you can see, you know, we, we didn't even notice a transition here. It just looked incredibly smooth. And that's because we're actually building this up, which is a lot more realistic um, when it comes to a game as well, because you'd be basically building up your sprint speed instead of going from one to the other. So that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. I put the links in the description, but definitely check out everything else as well. It's all free. That's one of the best things about the hub. It's a community effort, so definitely worth having a look at. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.